good morning from the Philippines. I'm not even gonna talk about beaches is one of the reasons why I prefer living in the Philippines over the US, but I had to show you this since this is what it looks like here. One of the reasons why I wanna make this video today is one of the more recent videos that I posted here was many of yours favorite video or one of your favorite videos that I've ever posted. And the reason for that, I think, is because of what I show in this video. Essentially what the video is, I go to my friend Ann's house. One of my favorite dishes here in the Philippines is the jackfruit and coconut milk. So we decided to do a video where we get all the fresh ingredients from her property. So we climb the coconut tree. <laughs> she climbs the coconut tree, I failed. Uh, she climbs the coconut tree, we get the coconut, we get the jackfruit from the trees. So we get these local fresh ingredients and we make the dish right there on her property with ingredients from the property. And I think part of the reason why this video was so popular with many of you was because it shows the simplicity of life and how peaceful and stress-free it can be and some of you even said that just watching the video <laughs> lowered your stress level and i 100 percent agree i think that says a lot the fact that just watching a video of someone in nature eating fresh local organic ingredients i think that speaks volumes for what we're missing so many of us in in our lives in society and in many other countries around the world but especially the u.s the, the rat race of the u.s many of us are living the most unnatural way you possibly can live artificial lights staring at computer screens artificial air artificial food chemicals in our food not moving our bodies no nature or sunlight it's horrible for the mental and physical body and I, I think when I show when I showed something like that when I showed a different way to live here in the provinces of the Philippines I think that resonated with so many viewers because it's something that we all want. Even though my country and, and many societies have convinced us that we need things and possessions and, and clothes and whatever, it's as soon as you remove yourself from that and you go experience something like what we did in the video, I'll put that video at the end of this video so you can watch it if you haven't seen it. As soon as you're in that setting, I think we all realize that this is, this is what feels right, not that. So I think that's one of the reasons why the video is so popular. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Some of the differences between the US rat race culture versus specifically more of the province life here in the Philippines and why I prefer living here. I don't even need to explain this to most of you or, or probably half of you because you either live here, you're from the Philippines, or maybe you're from here and then you move to the US for a work opportunity, but you know exactly what it's like here in the Philippines and the province life. And as I said, I read your comments and many of you have said that you watch these videos because you actually miss home. You move to the US or maybe another country for, for a work opportunity. You watch these videos because it, it's nostalgic and maybe it gives you fond memories. I'm basing this off of what I've read from you guys and you miss home and I think that's the one thing that so many Americans don't don't realize that the sacrifice that any foreigners who move to the US are making sure some want to move to the US I'm sure but but I'm willing to bet that a decent percentage would have rather stayed in their home country they don't want to leave their friends and families and their their home and I, I think that's I really think that's something that that many Americans don't don't acknowledge and don't realize it's not easy moving from your home country to the other side of the world where you don't know a single person and and starting a new life and even in learning a language here filipinos many filipinos speak english perfectly so that's that makes that an easier transition and i'm sure some of you love your lives in in the u.s but i've definitely read plenty of comments you say you miss the philippines too and so so many people go and earn money to support their family and they send back home and i have the utmost respect for anyone who does that and so Shout out to, to all you guys uh, in the US. I hope you can enjoy my country in the same way that I'm enjoying yours. One of the major differences that I see here is this positive attitude at work without the entitlement. Locals here doing a difficult job, long hours, I see them smiling, laughing. It's really unlike anywhere I've seen in the world. In the US, it seems we have the opposite outlook on work and, and mentality. It's we're not gonna have fun at work and then, then we can enjoy ourselves when we're done. But the problem is that you probably are exhausted by the time you finish work and you have other obligations. And that's the mentality that we have is it's, I'll have fun later, right? But you're gonna miss everything if that's your outlook on life every single day. And it seems the Filipinos have the opposite mentality. It seems they've realized a long time ago, we spend most of our lives working, so we're gonna have fun at work. We're gonna enjoy ourselves at work, right? There's another video of mine and you can watch this. I go into a fish market at 5.30 in the morning to make kini lao. They're playing music and dancing at 5.30 in the morning at the fish market when we walk in. You can see that in my video. I've never seen that anywhere else in the world. In a setting like that, locals just having fun. And let me know in the comments what you what you think about this if you're, if you're Filipino and, and what your, your outlook is on this. But it seems from what I've read in the comments, 
you've realized that if there's a difficult situation, it's, it's, you're going to make it worse if you mope around and complain. And if you smile and laugh and make the best of it, it makes the situation better for everyone, better for you, better for everyone around you. It seems like the Filipinos have figured that out. And so again, I, I have so much respect for the hard work and the attitude here in the Philippines. It's really refreshing because you don't, you don't see that everywhere in the world. Obviously there are millions of hardworking, positive Americans, but I also see plenty of complaining and I see entitlement. And the reason it stands out to me is I see that, that complaining from, from individuals who already have it pretty good, uh, relatively speaking. It's gonna depend on who you surround yourself with. You can surround yourself with complainers or, or grateful, positive people as well. The, the, the United States is a, an extremely diverse country. It's gonna really depend on, it really depends on the individual, but I've seen enough of it that I thought that it was worth mentioning here. I'm not innocent in any of this. Everything, all these, these negative things that I'm saying, I'm guilty of them as well. And uh, it's something that I, I, consciously, I consciously work on on a, on a daily basis. This is one of the reasons why I'm such a huge advocate for for travel. That's one of the best ways to, to dissolve that, that entitlement. I think it's very important to be a positive person. Honestly, I'm trying to learn from, from the locals here because I, I, would ra I want to adopt that playfulness. And I'm, I'm talking about these, these little interactions that you have with staff. Just I've just pulled in here at the parking lot and just all smiles. My own Gabi, no, no, why do I keep saying that? <laughs> My own Gabi is good night. My own Boontag. And he was so excited to, to see that I was learning a bit of the language and practicing it. I can only say a few words and phrases here in the local language. If you have a foreigner come to the US and they can only say a few words in English, you are going to have a very different reaction from, from a local, from, from an American born in the US. In fact, that's the, the quickest way to make so many Americans angry is to not be perfectly fluent in English, really. And, and I think many Americans don't realize how difficult that is to learn the language. I would love to hear from you guys, actually, what it's like moving to the US, because I know so many of you were born in the Philippines and moved to the US, and, and that transition is probably much easier because probably you speak English already. But I'm very curious how easy it's been to, to make local friends in the US. So let me know, I'll, I'll read your stories all the time. I love reading your stories. But here, as you've seen in the videos, that's one major difference is how welcoming locals are here. If you just watch my channel, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Everyone essentially that I meet is just more than happy to talk with me and help me learn their language. You feel very welcome here. There's something, I don't know what it is. I'm trying to figure out how to articulate this, but that you know that feeling you have when you go to a bad part of town and it's, it's just, it's a sketchy part of town and it, and it, it feels dangerous. I get none of that here. I've never met an American who's come here who has said that they felt safer in a U.S. city than they do here or in the U.S. in general. It's that energy that I'm talking about. When you when you walk around, if, if people are smiling and chatty and they want to talk to you, it's, it's such a different feeling. And it, and it also feels like locals here aren't on edge. I've been driving around here for seven, eight months and I've made plenty of mistakes on the road, I promise you. No one has ever flipped out on me here. No one has ever screamed at me. No one's flipped me the bird. Guarantee you someone would have flipped out on me by now in the US with, with the road rage. And that probably contributes to the violence and the safety. It seems like for whatever reason, the stress level and the tension and the irritability is significantly lower here. And then when you have that calm, relaxed energy around you, it rubs off on you and you replicate that. You adopt that, It's a better word. If everyone's tense and on edge and arguing about politics incessantly, you're gonna adopt that too, and it's gonna make you tense. I think the best way to describe this, I think is a, a feeling of a lack of aggression. And I have no idea why. I'm try, I'm, I've been trying to figure it out this whole time I've been here. Of course it can't be everyone here in the country, I know that, and I'm not naive. I also know that everyone has their problems. The difference is it seems that here, it seems that people don't bring their, their problems to work or bring their problems <clears throat> into the public. At least they're not showing it to me. It kind of feels like part of the culture is when you when you have interactions, you should be kind with strangers or, or clients. And maybe you you leave your, your problems at home. I don't know, this is just my own personal experience and observation, but I have talked to other foreigners who've come here and moved here and they tell me the same things. And I want to go back to that video that I referenced, that video that I've made recently on my friend Ann's property. I think another reason why that video was resonated with, with so many people, I don't know, maybe maybe you're in a different place in your life, you have different, different ways you want to spend your time or money. For me personally, I don't know why, but I've never been 
materialistic in that way. I've never, I've got a couple, I've got a couple videos where I'm wearing two different shirts, this, this green one and this, this brown one. I've got photos of me wearing those shirts 14 years ago. You've all, many of you have seen my old raggedy hat. I just, I don't know what it is, but I've just never had that in me, that uh, materialistic side of me where I, I just wanted stuff. I don't know, it's just the way, the way that I've always been. In that video that we made recently, it's nothing about that. And for me personally, I'm at a point in my life where I would rather have peace. The funny thing about the US, and it happens to me when I go back there, they will convince you, the marketing is so good in the country, they will convince you you need things that you didn't know you needed. By definition, in my opinion, if you didn't, if you didn't know you needed it, then you didn't need it. But you go into a store, you go into a, a supermarket, I'll go in to buy one thing, I leave buying 10 things. Somehow they've, they've convinced me that I need all of this stuff. It's a country of excess. And if it's a country of excess, that means it's also a country of waste. We waste so much in the US. It's excess food, it's excess things, it's excess everything. There's so, I, I'm not trying to bash my country. I love so many great things about the US. I love the Rocky Mountains. Out West, it's completely different. I went to college, University of Colorado, snowboarding out there, the music, so many great things about it. And the opportunities we talked about, not trying to bash the US, but for me, I have so much more peace in a place like this. Uh, the province life is, it just, things are slowed down. It's simpler. The US is fast paced. I'm just, I'm just at a point in my life where I just, I want nothing to do with that, that noise, that bickering, the politics, the racket. What they'll do, the media does this, they choose what you're angry about. They're, the, the media, the news stations, the social media, they're going to choose something for everyone to be talking about and everyone to be angry about. They want you to be angry and they're going to give you something to be angry about. And everyone's going to be talking about that thing, sharing those clips on social media. All the news channels will be talking about that thing, just f feeding the fire, telling you what to think, telling you what to be angry about. And then a couple days later, they're going to introduce something new for you to be angry about. And then a few days later, something else to be angry about, and it never ends. I just want nothing to do with it. And I know you can get away from it if you're aware of it. You can go have a, have a farm, have a ranch out in Montana, maybe, and, and get away from it. And that's the great thing about the U.S. It's so vastly different from New York to the Rockies to the South. It's so different. And so if you if you want a change, you can always make that change. And, and you can get away from it if, if you want. But I just find, in general, being around that stresses me out. And here it's just easier for me to be happy and find peace because of other people be smiling and being happy. I'm bouncing all around here with topics, but I've, there's a lot of points that I wanted to touch on. I apologize if there's not great segues. <laughs> but something else I wanted to talk about here is a sense of community. In the US, let's start there. When you turn 18, you're gone. That's, it's a sign of independence. When you turn 18, you're supposed to show that you can stand on your own two feet. You, whether it be work or college or both, you, you show to the world and to your family that, that you can support yourself, right? It's a sign of independence. And that's kind of our mentality in our country is we're supposed to be independent and stand out. And so as a result, you don't see 18 year olds, 19 year olds, 25 year olds hanging out with their parents. You just, you don't see that, right? So once you leave the, the nest, you start your own life and you have your own friends often, more often than not, it's that way forever. It's separate. Whereas here, and, and actually, I know I can't generalize multiple countries at once, but I've, I've seen it a lot. And when I lived in Central and South America, and I lived in Thailand and Vietnam, and, and in, in this region, this part of the world, and in Central and South America, what's common is you live with your family until you start your own family. And that could be you're 30 years old. You're living with your parents, and your grandparents might be living there as well. Uh, you've got the whole family and maybe someone else in the family's got a house on the property but separate, something like that. And something else that I've noticed here that's really awesome, you see families hanging out together, partying together, whether it be a karaoke party, let on party, it could be at the house or it could be here at the beach, you see this all the time, you see it in, in several of my videos, they have these tables with little huts set up and you're out there hanging out with your family, partying with your family. And I mean all ages, in their, whether you're in your 20s, your grandparents, little kids, everyone, all generations together hanging out, usually on Sundays here on the beach. You just don't see that in the US. You, we, we lose that sense of community. It's quite common for, for kids to move. One, live in that, one lives in that state, one lives in this state. You get together at Christmas. So that's your family. And then also it seems like you all know your neighbors. 
and you just have a sense of community. We're we're not meant to be alone, and and I think that that's a con that contributes to depression, isolation, loneliness. I heard about this study that came out that evaluated the happiness level of various professions, and the happiest one was actually farmers. In no way is that an easy job. It's extremely difficult work. However, it's one particular job where you see the fruits of your labor immediately when you're done. You can see the work that you, you did. It's super important to see that. It's rewarding. That coupled with the nature and sunlight, fresh air, all of that without a doubt contributes to your happiness and satisfaction with your, your job and your life. One of the biggest factors as well is the exercise you're getting while at work, opposed to sitting in a chair all day. And yes, I'm aware that we have both in both countries. The Philippines also has office jobs and jobs outside. The United States also has office jobs and jobs outside. Real quick, I had to add something because we're talking about finding nature. My hog. Scooter life in the Philippines and in this whole region in general, it's, it's easily one of the most enjoyable parts of my day every day is scooter life. In the United States, they'd make fun of you, without a doubt. But here, everyone drives a scooter and it's awesome. It's just liberating, it's fun, and you can just explore the country. It's without a doubt one of my favorite things to do. Sometimes if I'm stressed out or I've got some free time, I'll just start driving with zero plan, no idea where I'm going and I just go explore, find beaches, meet people, try food, and I have you, I do it all the time in the videos too, but I do it all the time when the video, when the camera's off. It's, I do it every day, it's awesome. All right, I just needed to say that, goodbye. This isn't the whole list of why I prefer living here. This one's more focused on really how I personally have peace of mind here, how, how I just have peace. And of course, many other factors, and, and I haven't, I haven't elaborated too much on the friendliness and hospitality here because I've mentioned that in so many of my other videos. I don't want to sound repetitive, always talking about the, the kindness here, but that's of course the, the, the biggest contributing factor. So I think you know that. If you know me at all or if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that's the biggest factor. The, that's what makes me happier here is when others around me are smiling and they're friendly and they're happy. That's what makes me happy. I'm not trying to convince anyone to move here or, or anything really but uh i am advocating for trying something new if you have the chance if you have the financial means if you can test something out go live in a different country if you can go do it you, you see different ways that you can live your life that you never would have thought of otherwise if you hadn't left your country and it's that's one of my favorite things about living in other countries maybe philippines isn't for you it fits my personality i love it here but it might not fit your personality for instance for instance we We've been having power cuts recently. Uh, that happens. Uh, for me, I'm fine with it. When the power cut out, I think it was yesterday, put away my computer, left the house, didn't get mad about it, and went to the gym and exercised. And then came out here and started filming uh, for a video. And so I actually end up, it ends up being better for me when, the, when there's a power cut because it gets me out of the house. But if, if things like that might be a problem for you, I don't know, maybe. Uh, it's islands though, it's islands. There's There are gonna be power cuts, There's there's gonna be, uh, Wi-Fi that's not stable it, it happens it's uh, it's hard to have stable Wi-Fi and, and power in on a lot of islands around the world of course you have to keep in mind there are a million factors when deciding where you're gonna live or where you're going to travel if you were to give me the list of all the aspects of life and compare them United States versus Philippines they're gonna be they're gonna be things that I prefer about how we live life in the Philippines and there are gonna be times where I prefer how things are done in the United States very different countries and it's it's hard to compare the two a lot to take into consideration if you're planning on moving here. These are just my own personal opinions of why I like living here. Maybe you prefer living in the US, I don't know. And for those of you who are Filipinos living in the US, again, huge shout out to you guys. I, I love that you support me from there and that I can give you something positive. It's so awesome that your country has been so welcoming to me. So if you are living in the US, I hope I hope my country is welcoming to you also. I don't know, let me know. Let me know how your experience has been living in the US or living in a different country. I'm gonna put the video right here that I, that I referenced. I personally love that video too. So I'll put that one right here and here's a different one. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.